Hello, I'm Ian Trevath and I'm the Education and Outreach Director here at the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. And today I'm going to show you a new way to museum. So our subject for today is going to be shells and spikes. So when you walk through our museum uh, and you go through our different exhibits, you'll see some fossil animals and you'll see some modern animals and all of them have really unique structures. Some of them have crazy points and spikes and some have shells and armor. So to explore today's subject of shells and spikes, we are in our Bringing Fossils to Life exhibit and specifically we are looking at our African desert spurified tortoises who are just over here kind of to my, to my left. Um, and we're going to look at sort of what they do with their shells and what they do with their spikes um, because some people have questions. Uh, and the best way to answer questions is to observe. So the first thing we're going to talk about is shells. You can see I've got a couple of fossil shells right here. We call the top part the carapace. And we call the bottom part the plastron. So there are two parts here. So this is the plastron, this is the carapace. And if you look closely inside the carapace, what's actually going on here is you can see the backbone, the vertebra, and you can see actually it's got its hip bones in here and it's got its shoulder bones in here. So what's going on is if you use your own body as a map, you can feel your own ribs and they go all the way around back and they, they connect up with your backbone. That's exactly what's going on here. So this is the turtle's backbone. These are its ribs coming out. And the really unique thing about turtles is that their ribs have actually spread out and sort of connected to form the carapace. So actually their ribs and their backbone are the top part of their shell. And that shell is covered with um, a material called keratin, which is very similar to your hair or to your fingernails. It's the same kind of stuff. So they've kind of got two layers of protection. They've got the bone and they've got the keratin. So that's what a shell is made of. And as you can imagine, the shell offers really good protection. So most turtles and tortoises in this case are able to pull their heads, their arms, their legs into their shell and are very well protected inside there. Uh, so that offers them a form of protection. Now with our desert spurthi tortoises, it's actually mentioned in their very name that they have these, these spikes or spurs on the backs of their legs. And you can see some smaller ones actually on the front of their legs as well. And what those spikes allow them to do is defend themselves. That's actually a defensive mechanism. So imagine that a predator were to come up on one of these tortoises and try to grab its back limbs because generally that's kind of what a predator would go for, would come up from the back end and try to grab a leg or a thigh. And one of the things about specifically these tortoises is they're very, very strong. So their first reaction is to pull their arms and legs in their shell. And if you've ever tried to stop a tortoise from going anywhere, it's not an easy thing to do. These, these animals, well, they'll rearrange furniture if, or, or objects if there's something in front of them. Uh, so they're very, very, very strong. So what they would do in the case of a predator attack is they'd pull their arms and legs into their shell. So imagine a predator, like a dog or let's say a coyote or something of that sort, a, a canine maybe, um, maybe a T-Rex. <laughs> no, no, T-Rexes didn't exist at the same time. So. Anyways, um, so that predator grabs its back leg and that back leg pulls into the shell with great strength. Well, you've got these big spurs on the back legs and what happens is those spurs then go into the muzzle of that predator that's trying to grab that, that tortoise's limb. And as you can imagine, as the force of those spurs go into the animal's face, that animal's gonna let go eventually. It's, it's not worth <laughs> that amount of pain and damage for a meal that they're gonna have to work for anyways because this thing is covered in a shell. So that, that animal is generally going to let go and find something a little bit easier to eat. So that's how tortoises utilize their spikes as well as utilize their shells for protection. Thanks for joining us in the New Way to Museum with the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications when we release a new video. Support us on Patreon for early access and exclusive content. You can also follow us on all our social media. Links are found in the description. Thanks for watching 
and follow your curiosity to new discoveries.